In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an inscribed circle inside of a triangle. An inscribed circle is a circle contained within the triangle where each side of the triangle represents a tangent to the circle. So, if that's confusing, we'll show you as we go and help you understand it more. So we first have to start with a triangle. I'm going to create a triangle using the polygon tool and I'm going to change the color. This triangle it does not matter if I create it as acute, like I have it, right, or obtuse. It does not matter because this is a construction so you can move as you go. So first off, the inscribed circle is inside of this triangle and it touches each side at one point. And the center of the inscribed circle is called the end center. And this is the center of the inscribed circle. It's found by intersecting the angle bisectors. It's also equidistant to each of the sides of the triangle. So let's find the in-center. The in-center is found by intersecting the angle bisectors of the triangle. So let me show you how to do that. There is an angle bisector tool and you can either select two lines or you can select three vertices. Because these are concurrent, the last one, the last angle bisector, will intersect at the same point. Now let's intersect these. So this is the intersect in the in-center. I'm going to rename it. This intersection, this is it, this is of the angle bisectors is a construction, so I can move this around. And the angle bisector by definition means this is a line that's constructed so this side of the angle, this angle from here, here to here, C B in center, is congruent to the angle in center B A. And similarly, these two angles are congruent. And these angles are congruent, because that's the definition of an angle bisector. Now, this is going to give you the center of the inscribed circle, but we need the radius. That's where this point, this part comes in. It's very helpful. So I'm going to remove these lines and keep the in center and remove the stroke. So let me show you how to create the radius. Use the perpendicular line tool and you select the point and one of the sides. I'm creating the if it's equidistant to each of the sides of the triangle, I'm going to show you what that means. Intersect from here to here. And I'm going to remove this line, create a segment. And then I'm going to show you that this is actually a perpendicular distance, 90 degrees. Let's do it for the other lines. In center to the, to the side of the triangle and use a right. Oh, we have to intersect this before we just... Now we use the angle to show this is a right angle. We'll remove this line and create a segment. And do this one more time. So the perpendicular distance is the shortest distance. And we're going to remove the line, create a segment, and find the angle. And it's going to be this direction, so we'll go this way. C, F, and center. This doesn't show us equidistant until I find the distance using the distance formula. It's built into our calculator in GeoGebra. and I can move these around. They're all the same. This is a construction so I can move this any way, whether it's whatever way I want to. The in-center is always within the triangle. So now let me show you how to make the inscribed circle. Just click on in-center and one of these, these vertices right here, these points, because this is the point tangent to the circle. So let me read that definition. Maybe this will help you again. The inscribed circle is a circle contained within a triangle where each side of the triangle represents a tangent to that circle. Now let me look at the equation that we have. You can actually open this up a little to see it. The equation is in the form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, this equation of a circle, is equal to r squared. 
If you take the opposite of these, that will give you the center HK. So in this case, the center is the opposite of this number, which would be negative 5.43. The opposite would be positive 5.43. And you take the opposite of this negative 3.96, which will be positive 3.96. This is the center, and that should come up as the in-center. So that's it right here, 5.43 comma 3.96, and then equals r squared. So if I took 4.08, and took the square root, that will give me the radius, which is 2.02 rounded. So I hope you enjoy this video, and thank you for watching.